How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review AVG Antivirus Free, one of the best free antivirus software out there right now. AVG always takes the cake. It's one of my favorites. If you want to download it, you can go ahead and go um, to this website here. I will post a link on the description of the video. Just click on free download and it will download. And once you download it, this is what it looks like here. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at PC Magazine to see uh, what they rated it because they like to put antivirus software through a lot of uh, tests. Um, the pros of this antivirus is it's excellent scores from two testing labs. And we're going to take a look at those testing labs here in a bit. Very good scores and enhanced tests. No hassle, enhanced firewall. That's one of the good things about this, guys. It has a firewall. If you go here to open firewall check it out guys it's got a dang firewall not a lot of free antivirus programs have that matter of fact some free ones if you go to use the firewall it'll make you buy or upgrade to a, to a paid version so free anti avg free antivirus has a firewall which is awesome useful bonus features which we're going to take a look at, and of course, because it's free. The cons is full scan is slower than average, which is okay. Just leave it overnight, guys. Leave it scanning overnight. Fixing found performance issues required an upgrade. Um, like I said, if you're going to be scanning, don't be using your computer because your performance is going to go down. Malicious URL scored down from previous testing. So it looks like this new version. Now this version is good uh, for the 2023 through 2024. This review here is good from 2023 through 2024. All right, guys. Uh, on demand. So it's got on demand wall malware scan, access malware scan, website ratings. So it's got all those right here. See that file shield, behavior shield, ransomware, network inspector. It's got all those things, web shield, email shield, enhanced firewall, hack alerts. It's got all those features for a free antivirus program. That is not bad. It does not have a vulnerability scan. But for a free antivirus program, what do you expect, guys? All right. Now, looking at the program here, if you want to scan, uh, you can just hit run smart scan. But I like to call that a cheap scan. All right, it does it real quick. It doesn't really look at anything. Trust me, guys. Click here where it says run other scans and do the deep scan. That's what I recommend you do, this deep scan right here. And while it's scanning, let's go ahead and go back. Cool. It's scanning right now. We can still go back and look at everything. All right. We're going to go down to uh, the lab test so I can show you. But just to let you guys know, AVG... Uh, so Avast Antivirus acquired AVG in 2020. Norton acquired Avira. So a lot of crazy acquisitions have been going on, guys. So now when you use AVG, you're really using Avast because they acquired it. So Avast is going to be bringing their ways of doing things, which kind of sucks because I kind of liked AVG by itself. But anyway, um, a lot of things going on there. Um, Let's go down to the test, the, to the actual test. So here's the lab results, guys. AVG, uh, they did two tests, and it scored 9.8. All right, second place from Bitdefender. And we already did a video on Bitdefender. I recommend you guys check it out. But it is second place, 9.8 in two tests. That is awesome. Let's look at more tests down here. This is from PC Magazine, guys. They they have really good testing Um that they do on all the antivirus programs. Now let's look at malware protection tests. Here it is. Protection score is 8.6. Detection rate is 88%. Malicious URL blocking, like they, they said it's down, right? So it's actually, it's not that bad, but it is kind of lower than the other ones. Lower than Kaspersky, Bitdefender, Norton, and McAfee, and even Webroot. So it is one of the lowest ones for malicious URLs. Detection rate is 88%, lower than McAfee and Webroot. Um, so yeah, um, maybe because it got acquired by Avast, maybe that's why the tests are a little more down. And I think they have another test, phishing protection tests. AVG detection rate is 99%. Average difference 
is plus 24% from the last time. The edge difference is plus 46. Firefox difference 15% and Chrome is uh, 11. But the detection rate is 99%. That's pretty good. Zone alarm though in Trend Micro and Avast got 100%. Wow. Okay. And that might be all the tests. Is that all the tests? I think that's it. Let's go back to the actual program itself. So, um, if you want to use the hacker attacks, you have to upgrade uh, personal data. You have to upgrade. And if you want to look at everything that's available, you go to the store right here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, the free edition does have a lot of good stuff. If we go back to the firewall, if you notice, you can actually block apps. All right. You can see active. And these are the active uh, apps that are going on. ScreenPal is what I'm using to record the screen. We got Google Chrome. We got MetaTrader going on. You guys, if you guys are, know what Forex is, you guys know what's up there. <laughs> all right. You can look at all the inactive ones too here. And you can go ahead and block those. You can look at all your programs here, or apps like they call them now, and block them there. So you're able to block stuff here, which is really cool, guys. A lot of free antivirus programs don't have this. This one does. And it's still scanning right now. Um, I wonder if we're able to look at the scan. Where is it? We can see that it's scanning because it says scanning down here. See this? And it's going to take a long... Oh, here it is. Deep scan is running. And it's going to take a while. It's at 27%. I have a lot of crap on my computer. It's going to take a while, guys. There's also a menu up here if you want to go into... Um, um, you can actually protect your phone. There is, an, uh, there is a phone version of this antivirus, which we're going to make a video on that here soon. You can also click settings here. And in the settings, you can, uh, you can actually password protect your uh, AVG. Put your password in here, confirm it, and you can password protect it. That way nobody can go in there and change things around. Or your viruses go in there and change things around. It does have ransomware protection, which is good, guys. Really good. You don't want to get ransomware because that sucks. And here you can go ahead and, and uh, in the settings here, you can actually go ahead and change your web shield, email shield, behavior shield, file shield, all that stuff. Network inspector, enhanced firewall. You can get, get a little more advanced here. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and close it. All right, and that's about it, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it a four out of five stars. It is a really good uh, free antivirus program. I really recommend it. It's one of my favorite. We don't give it five out of five anymore because it's been acquired by Avira, and it's a little, di you know, it, we saw that the some of the percentages there were kind of low. You know, the vulnerability scan was lower than all the other antiviruses. I kind of want to give it actually a 3 out of 5, but we're going to give it a 4 out of 5 because I am a little biased with AVG. <laughs> I've always used AVG. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting a lot more uh, videos. The next one is going to be the AVG um, Android version and poss possibly the iPhone one too, but we're going to start off with the Android version of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next antivirus video.